Hey, this is Scott Townsend. You can follow me on Twitter at Scott M. Townsend. And today, I like my home studio. Yay! Right, we'll see how that goes. I'll have, have some design over here or something. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to talk a little bit today about listening. Um, I've learned a lot about listening through my nutrition coach, Nancy Gillum, um, here in Bartlesville. And in, in, uh, it's amazing how being listened to is a, a, a very uh, fulfilling and empowering experience. And so I've taken that experience and applied it to uh, home and at work. And specifically, um, what I want to talk about tonight was listening to your kids or my kid. So I've scheduled two. This is the tonight was the second meeting that we've had um, and we've talked about well actually the agenda was all about him and what he wanted to talk about and whatever was on his mind and for an hour I just shut up and tried to listen and did listen intently with purpose um, using my body language to make sure he understood that I was listening and uh, taking notes as as uh, he talked about whatever he wanted to talk about. I found it difficult from time to time to not interject my opinion or tell him what I think. So that was that was a little difficult, but uh, we made it through. Uh, we've done that, like I said, twice now, and it's like in folks in uh, in depth focused listening and giving giving him my full attention my full it's all about right now whatever he wants to talk about so it's been good for me I look I find myself looking forward to having looked forward to these last two sessions and I'm sure I'll be looking forward to them again in the future and I think he likes it we'll see but I think that the investment in uh, focused, active listening is uh, going to be huge, and is huge already. So many times that, you know, we get caught up in what we're thinking about, and we're more concerned with the person stopping to speak so that we can start speaking, that uh, we don't listen to what people around us are really saying. And maybe we don't know how to listen. We say we do, it's cliche, communication, blah, 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 blah. But uh, focused, focused, active listening. Like I told uh, someone the other day, I think, this type of listening is actually a contact sport because it's hard. It takes uh, you listening and it takes the other person being willing to um, talk about whatever they want to talk about. And it can be a little uncomfortable at first, but uh, once you get into it, it's, it pays huge dividends for both. And uh, both the person being listened to and the person doing the listening. So those are some of my thoughts on listening. Uh, I've taken great inspiration from Chris Brogan, Steve Garfield. Um, there's one other I just want to mention. Congratulations to Bobby Brown on his accomplishments in his uh, uh, health management and uh, exercise. I see him on Facebook a lot, doing great things. So congratulations to Bobby Brown. and. Uh, I think that's about it. So are we uncomfortable with silence? Are we uncomfortable with long pauses? Those are my thoughts today. This is Scott Townsend. You can follow me on Twitter. Scott M. Townsend. Talk to you later. Bye.